Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, uh, just a quick update. Honorable Munia Zulu, who where a bench warrant has been issued, I think was present in court today, and the lawyers offered an explanation why he was away, but um, the chief resident magistrate has insisted that this matter will be heard at the allocated time. And uh, the matter couldn't be heard, but uh, Honorable Mnia Zulu was in court. Um, we, I think we'll see the proceedings from there. Then there's been a major development. Honorable uh, Chris Zuma Zimba, with three others, remember they're appearing in court for uh, the terrorism offenses uh, uh, under the Terrorism and Proliferation Act of 2018, as amended in 2023. Zuman Zimba was arrested and detained on 30th May, Mr. President, 30th May. And he has only appeared in court 30 days later, today. He's, there has been this long detention, but today he appeared before court uh, and um, the resident magistrate, Madam Buyaiwa, I think he, Namvula, as um, Simvula, has uh, committed them to the High Court. It means that uh, the matter will go to the High Court for Zumani Zimba, Chris Zuman Zimba, and three others. The, the process there, you remember, is a bit also difficult. You have to wait for allocation. It has to be cause listed. It took almost a year for, I mean, almost uh, six, seven months for Mumbipiri to appear before court. We hope that it will not take that long for Chris Zuman Zimba. Those are the two developments. But there is an announcement by the President uh, Honorable Given Luwind, about the event this afternoon. Uh, before I talk about the event for this afternoon, I would like to just inform uh, our viewers, our supporters, that uh, we are happy that uh, Munia Zulu appeared before the same magistrate who issued a bench warrant this morning. Uh, it took less than an hour from the time that the bench warrant was issued to the time that Munia Zulu presented himself before the same magistrate. And now that the magistrate has said that this is water under the bridge and that the bench warrant shall continue to subsist, Munia Zulu is appearing again tomorrow before another court for another matter. We hope that uh, his appearance will not be interfered with by anyone. would like that tomorrow he comes and... Uh, listens to the charge and takes plea. We also hope that uh, Munia Zulu will be safe wherever he will be and that when the date of the return of the warrant comes, he will come and return the warrant. This also just uh, reminds me to remind all of us what I said this morning. All of us, once we are called, please let us appear. Godfrey Waliamuamba is appearing together with his lawyer, Jonas Zimba before the Anti-Corruption Commission. And I've inquired with the lawyer, Jonas Zimba, and he says he hasn't even received a call out. He just heard that the SCC want him to appear. And just on that, he is appearing before the Anti-Corruption Commission. So, Inspector General of the Police, please don't misinform the citizens by claiming that there are people who are resisting call outs. None of us is resisting call-outs. You are just being highly hypersensitive and highly excited by sending police to lift up our people as though they were common criminals who are refusing arrest. When you picked up Emmanuel Mwamba, it was without a call-out. We even insisted, please, for people like Emmanuel Mwamba, just give him a call-out. Even just by way of a phone call, we shall oblige. If you want me, phone me, I shall come. You don't have to come and lift us up like criminals. Remember that we have rights and we are innocent until proven guilty in the courts of law. You have no right whatsoever to declare any one of us a criminal. Once you want us to be suspects, make us suspects, but let the due process of the law be followed. So my dear brothers and sisters, those of you who have the time, 14 hours come, let's give support to Godfrey Bualia Mwamba and to Jonas Zimba. But like Emmanuel said, Zumani Zimba and three others have been committed to the High Court. It is our prayer that the High Court will act with swift, that they bring these people before the High Court as quickly as possible. Please don't delay this matter because this matter 
is already been declared unbearable. Those people are going to be in incarceration for too long a time if you don't bring them before the court of law. Let them face their day in court as quickly as possible. Cause list this matter as swiftly as you possibly can. We don't want to have a repeat of the Mumbipiri unfortunate saga. Thank you very much. Thank you, President. Thank you.